Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to yet another build request. This one is from two months ago, so if you're wondering why your vehicle request hasn't been answered yet, it's quite possible it's just because I'm super far behind in the backlog. So hopefully I'll still get to your vehicle eventually, but as always, no guarantees. This particular build request has come from someone by the name of Ferg the Rainbow, who has asked for a warship like the USS Missouri. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I don't know a great deal about warships. And I certainly could not tell them apart by their name or class. And as Nathan Barrow pointed out, it's rather difficult to achieve a high level of detail of a vehicle of such scale due to the size and part limit found within Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Therefore, when it comes to replicas of such large vehicles, I simply attempt to catch the feeling of the vehicle rather than creating an exact duplicate. To illustrate this point, while my replicas of the Pillar of Autumn, Tantive 4 and a Star Destroyer are recognisable as what they're supposed to be, when compared next to the originals that they're supposed to be replicating, you can see that I had to leave off a fair amount of detail. So therefore, due to my lack of knowledge of warships, and the fact that you can't achieve too much detail within the game, this shouldn't be considered a replica of the USS Missouri, but instead my attempt at a generic warship. So this is the battleship Misery, and depending on how good your eye for detail is, you may have noticed it's actually too big to be in the game. So let's find out why, and explore the design. The biggest issue with a vehicle like a warship or a battleship is that they're very long and very slender. And as the vehicle build area of Mumbo Motors only allows your vehicle to be 19 blocks long, this presents rather a large problem. So therefore, I built my battleship in two parts, which you then have to assemble outside of Mumbo's motors. And by doing so, I managed to extend the battleship's old limit of 19 blocks long to 28 blocks long. You can technically make it longer, but as we're faced by not only a size limit, but also a part limit, it's sort of a bit of a balance where, if you expend too many blocks on making its length, you run out of blocks to give it detail. So once you're ready to join your two parts of the battleship together, the way it works is sort of like a jigsaw puzzle, which is kind of very suiting for Banjo-Kazooie, I'd say. You have on either side of the two parts you want to join together, this sort of mirrored pattern consisting of four tow bars. It is rather purposefully asymmetrical, because when the two parts join together they make a hole, but because either side is committing only half to it, it kind of creates a bit of a lock. And so therefore, once you take your vehicle into the game, all you have to do is properly line up the two sides, so that the two different pairs of tow bars are pointing at each other, ram them together, and they'll lock into place. And it's as simple as that. You now have your solid battleship, which is longer than any vehicle is supposed to be in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. There is another method you can utilize to make long vehicles in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which involves a glitch or exploit or whatever you want to call it, but I'll explain that in another video. Aren't I a little tease? And then aside from that, functionality-wise, the battleship Misery is rather simple. It has, hidden throughout both its two parts, many floaters which are meant to keep it afloat. It is propelled by a single large propeller at its back, which is powered by a multiple of large engines, which in conjunction with a bunch of large ammos and some trays and boxes also help to extend the part limit. And then of course it also has a row of grenade guns, because if the film and board game Battleship taught me anything, it's that battleships have to have guns. Everything else on the vehicle, including the aerial and the gyroscopes, are just there as some rather pretty cosmetics in an attempt to make it look more cool. So there you have it. While I'm sorry it's not that good of a replica of the USS Missouri, I hope you enjoy generic battleship misery. And I'm sure those of you who have a better knowledge of warships than I have can probably take this template and improve on it greatly. If you do so, make sure to upload a video of it and let me know in the comments so I can check it out. If you want to see the grim builds of this video, which is just me building it from scratch, that should be up within the next half hour. Although the final vehicle at the end of that is slightly different than the final vehicle at the end of this because I tinkered with it a little bit after that video was already finished and uploaded. And speaking of templates, I'm going to stop talking now and what will follow is just the layer by layer reconstruction of this vehicle which you should be able to copy yourself to create the vehicle in your own game. So I hope you enjoyed watching and as always, until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle.
Thank <laughs> you.